As the Shanghai Cooperation Organization SCO summit approaches, all eyes turn toward Pakistan Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif. This summit, graced by influential figures such as Chinese Premier Li Chiang and Indian External Affairs Minister S. Jai Shankar, presents a pivotal opportunity for Shehbaz to set the tone for Pakistan's engagement on the international stage. With the sensitive topic of Kashmir looming on the horizon, the question arises. Can Shehbaz resist the urge to exploit this issue for political gain? The Kashmir issue, a deeply entwined element in Pakistan's national narrative, offers a double-edged sword. Engaging with it could resonate with domestic audiences who are passionate about their claims while simultaneously appeasing China, Pakistan's steadfast ally. Yet, the shadow of historical precedent looms large. Shehbaz's brother, Nawaz Sharif, faced significant backlash for his handling of the Kargil conflict, raising concerns about whether Shehbaz will replicate or break from this pattern of politicizing sensitive matters for personal or political advantage. While expectations for monumental shifts may be optimistic, the true test for Shehbaz lies in his approach to Kashmir at the summit. A cautious silence could elevate his stature above the fray of geopolitics, preventing him from becoming a mere pawn in broader international tussles. Historically, Shehbaz has maintained a critical stance towards India, with rhetoric aligning closely with Pakistan's long-standing narrative on Kashmir. Since taking office, his expressions of discontent regarding Indian policies have only intensified, especially during significant addresses like his recent speech at the United Nations General Assembly, where he drew stark comparisons between Kashmir and Palestine. In this charged atmosphere, other Pakistani politicians have echoed sentiments of hostility towards India further complicating the geopolitical landscape. Their remarks not only serve to consolidate support within Pakistan, but also seek to attract attention from Muslim-majority countries. However, such inflammatory rhetoric has only served to heighten diplomatic tensions, with India firmly rejecting Pakistan's claims and demanding action against cross-border terrorism before any meaningful dialogue can resume. As the SCO summit draws near, the handling of the Kashmir issue looms larger than ever before for Shehbaz. The outcome of his discourse may well define his leadership trajectory. Will he emerge as a unifying figure for Pakistan, or remain trapped in the cycle of historical grievances and political maneuvering? The world will be watching intently.